go. Team Thrust wasting no time. They are thrusting power cells into the high goal for the Red Alliance. Both their alliance partners joining in the fray. 15 second autonomous period comes to a close and Red Alliance will hold a 10 point lead, 43 to 33. We're now in the teleoperated period of qualification match number 51. Red Alliance wasting no time putting power cells into the high goal on their side of the field. Team 5188 looking to respond now on the blue side into the low goal. They dump a couple of power cells. That'll net the Blue Alliance a few points, cut down that red lead. Blue Alliance now recognizing the threat of the Red Alliance, and they are playing defense up against Team 2960 out of Birmingham, Michigan. Team 1501 with a hard hit, flags waving on the field from the referees. Less than a minute and a half remaining in the match. Team 292 for the Blue Alliance, lining up a shot for the goal. However, Automation Nation looking to put a wrench in that plan, playing defense up against that Blue Robot. Team 292 with a power cell through the inner port for the Blue Alliance high goal. Less than a minute remaining in the match. 51 to 44 is the score. Red Alliance still holding on to their lead. Team 829 firing off power cells as they head back through the port, excuse me, through the rendezvous point. Looks like they might be lining up for their in-game strategy. It's the final 30 seconds of the match. Team 829 lifting up their hook for the Red Alliance. Team 5188 from Terra Holt. They're setting themselves up to climb as well. 15 seconds left on the clock. Blue Alliance with one robot in the air. Team Thrust joining the Red Alliance in the rendezvous point. Here comes Panther Tech for the Blue Alliance. Trying to get all three robots on the rendezvous point. One second left on the clock. Close match, and the time is up. All right, the results are in for qualification match number 51. With the win, it'll be the Blue Alliance. 92 blue to 66 red.